changed America from the back of the bus to the White House. And we're going to change America to where police serve the community and not above the law, but they enforce the law. We are not against all police, but those that break the law should pay and be held accountable. And grand juries are not set up to try their innocence. They're to move on with probable cause and let a trial decide that. So we're moving forward. Before taking questions, let us hear some words from the widow of Eric Garner, who has today spoke with the Attorney General. We just spoke with Governor Cuomo. We just spoke with others. But she will help lead that march on December 13. Esau Snipes Garner. Hello, everybody. I want to thank everybody for their support, for their continued support. And like Reverend said, this fight ain't over. It just begun. I'm determined to get justice for my husband because he shouldn't have been killed in that way. He shouldn't have been killed in any way. He should be here celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving and everything else with his children and his grandchildren. And he can't. Why? Because a cop did wrong. Somebody that get paid to do right did wrong, and he's not held accountable for it. But my husband's death will not be in vain. As long as I have a breath in my body, I will fight the fight to the end. Thank you. May we hear from the mother of Eric Gardner, Miss Gwen Carr. Good evening, everyone. Giving honor to God, who is first in my life. But I'm here, I am truly disappointed in the grand jury's decision this evening. I don't know what video they were looking at. Evidently, it wasn't the same one that the rest of the world was looking at. How could we put our trust in the justice system when they fail us like this. They didn't only fail me, they failed many of us. And if we don't take care of this, they may fail you in the future. That's right. That's right. That's right. We gotta make this right. And we're so happy that the federal government is now talking about taking over and investigating. We asked them twice before, but now they see how important it is for them to come in and take this case, and as well as the other cases, the, the, the Brown case. And I thank National Action Network, Reverend Sharpton, Reverend Daughtry. Oh my goodness, this is just so emotional for me. We thank Reverend Kirsten for standing with us. Because we need all your support. We need your support. But we need peace throughout the support. Yeah, we want you to rally, but rally in peace. Make a statement, but make it in peace. Do what you have to, but do it in peace. Okay? But I thank every, each and every one of you for coming out tonight to show support and love for the family and for my son, which I will never see again. This thing is just breaking my heart, just pulling me apart. But, but thank you, thank you so much. Let me again repeat, the leadership meeting will be in the morning. At that point, we will plan a march and what we will do about Santa Claus on Christmas. That will come out in out of the meeting in the morning. We'll take a couple of questions and then we're gone. Reverend Sharpton, Officer Pantaleo, and for you and also for a family member, has offered his uh, condolences. Will the can the family find it in their heart to accept it? Do you accept it? Hell no. no. It's time for the north to the bingo. My husband is yelling to breathe. That would have been the time for him to show some type of remorse or some type of care for another human being's life. When he was screaming 11 times that he can't breathe. So there's nothing that him 
or his prayers or anything else would make me feel any different. No, I don't accept his apology. No, I care less about his condolences. No, I care less. He's still working. He's still getting a paycheck. He's still feeding his kids. And my husband is six feet under. And I'm looking for a way to feed my kids now. So, All right, thank you very much. Who's going to play Santa Claus for my grandkids this year? Because he plays Santa Claus for my grandkids. Who's going to do that now? So what do you want to happen to him? What do you want? I said that's it. Thank exactly. you. Exactly.